This is day number three of four. We are coming to a close here. Several more heats, but they're all big. Round three, heat number 12 of the Vans World Cup. A variety of weather conditions blowing through. Nonetheless, the drama on the water is outstanding. Some guys need a result. Other guys just need to prove themselves in the big surf. David Stanfield with Josh Kerr. David Stanfield with Josh Kerr. Is this the first wave we have? We've already got Josh Kerr on one wave, a 217. And this looks like Cobb Good. He won a world championship here at this event. It was a CT event in 2001. And he took that down with the help of Benny Bourgeois and gets his first title in a, sh uh, a shortened year. But ultimately, it's still always been pretty good as we watched Josh Kerr and his 2.17 slotted. And that's what that low tide will do is it will open up those opportunities on the inside ball. We thought, you know, an increase in swell is, you know, the consistency is up a bit. As we watched C.J. Hobgood on his first wave in this heat, pretty good run at the backhand bash. This will be our last time we'll see C.J. Hobgood in a jersey out here at... Here we go, nice center peak takeoff. Not the biggest wave, but there's opportunity for the goofy footer by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And now the 33-year-old uh, out of Portugal puts it on rail, gets some nice turns. Pedro Henrique, a little closeout section here. Blew it up earlier, and now we got some action. Pat Godowskis. Matty G, we've had three brothers, the three Godowskis brothers in the lineup in one heat one time. He cranks and banks. He's needing a fourth place to have a shot at a uh, qualification. He's number 26 in the rankings. Uh, Believe it. Pete, let's take a look at our surfer in blue, Pedro Rig, former world junior champion. Yeah, and, uh, Pedro's got that you know, solid backhand coming at Sunset Beach to see how he lays over. Beautiful arc. Again, combos it up with another nice slash, so he's right in this one. 4.5 for his efforts for those two nice turns. And then Pat Kadowskis behind him. Drops into this first section here. Nice arcing cutback, but it puts him in a bit too late. Although that way it probably would have shut down already, even if he hadn't uh, carved that turn all the way back to the pit. But uh, really helping the cause. So the 22-year-old looking really solid as we go back into the lineup here and we pick up. It looks like uh, Josh Kerr he can do it all. And look at these beautiful turns. Kersey from the Gold Coast, now living in San Diego with the family. 31 years young and just evergreen. He does not age. and what he does on a board and how he can play with it. He's more of a skateboarder. Awesome that he gets to play and hang out with them. He gets to travel with them and bring them along on tour. And they're excited. And again, they bring him youthful exuberance, as you see here, as he carves this first section, sets up this one. Nice long arc. Those big uh, open turns on this open face. Nice mix. Showed some variety. And gets to the channel and kicks out. This could be his best wave. Those big uh, open turns on this open face, nice mix, showed some variety, and gets to the channel and kicks out. This could be his best wave. It looks spectacular out in the lineup. First wave for Josh Kerr, 217, second wave a 7.0. Really smart to get that one under the belt. Wasn't the best looking waves, but he played with it. He got to the score. Josh Kerr, he is your current heat leader. Oh, and watch this, Josh Kerr. He's got himself a little wedge. You can see pushing it down the line, setting up this section up and over, controlling on this bouncy wave, comes into the barrel. Can he come out? He does. Beautiful surfing there from Josh Kerr and great wave choice. Uh, caddying for Connor. So you got your brother out there. You got a whole mixed up. We've seen a daughter caddy for a father. And it's been uh, just a mixed bag of tricks we're seeing. Take Take a look at a lot of crazy waves here. Here's CJ, wave number three on his backhand, former champion, former world champion, and to the inside. And this is his swan song. We hope that uh, he can continue to march through. And at the back, a big throaty wave for Josh Kerr setting up. It's got some warble to it. Nice hack off the top. And he reads that one really well. Looks like Josh has been here and done this before. A lot of the CT guys are not required to surf this. And uh, that's a no-make wave. The waves continue to march through, Pete. It looks like it's going to hold for tomorrow, except shift a little bit. A more north angle, and we'll start to see the inside bowl even more than we already do as we watch the replay here from Pedro Henrique. The uh, first of a four-surfer exchange here. And this wave finally steepens up for him on the inside. 
so controlled on the backhand Pedro is. And, uh, he finishes right there on the shorty. Oh, sorry, not that's the shorty, in the channel. And then a nice late drop here from Josh Kerr. Wraps that cut back. Drops the inside here and the big layback snap. Dinner last night in the, uh, po help me say it. The Pekaki? Po uh, no, not Pekaki. <laughs> Pa'akai. Pa Almost there. Pa'akai. We had to, t Ross had and to tell us, way, and Ross has got a mouthful of food. <laughs> Making sure that if you come to the fabled North Shore, as you see Pakadowskis chasing one down, all sorts of speed. He's looking for this section here, and it's going to stand up for one quick turn right there. Hooks underneath and into the channel and kind of bends out to sea. So chasing that wave. Wave number four for uh, Josh Kuro, 6.50. What's interesting about Josh, he's getting waves that are okay current heat leader. What happened here on this wave for Godowskis? Well, he had to chase it. Um, you know, he was hoping to find an inside section here. He had to get around it, and he does. You know, he's hoping probably for another one of those heroic barrels that we saw earlier, but then there, the layback snap on the inside bowl section, and he'll kick out. You know, another pretty average wave for Pat Godowskis. Improve on your high score. If you improve on your low score, well, you improve your two-way total, but you're not chasing down the leader. Josh Kerr again now. He uses his priority. And Josh got a long wall ahead, and this one's going to close out on him unless he can really do something special. And that was a late hit and an ejection. And he just gets as much water into climate as you see. Beautiful arc here, though. That nice layback, and then drifts the front arm around, and then comes to this inside section here, chases it, and then climbs it, hits it hard. But it is so difficult. So much power involved in that last section there. Sunset will teach you a couple of lessons about power. And then Josh Kerr in a pretty comfortable posi position out in front. Here's CJ looking to better his uh, his 4.0. As he takes this to the inside, he's basically at the end of the wave. Just a couple more turns maybe, and it's to the channel. But a big roundhouse turn for CJ. Again, trying to better a 4.0. Now 3.45 on the clock. Priority with Pedro Enrique. But it is Patrick Kadowskis to the inside now. Patrick not wasting any time. Really tricky with a little bit of the backwash. Pete, I know it's not really all of it's coming from the beach, but some of it right here is, and then it just goes across Val's Reef and just so much water moving. Yeah. Comes out of that, doesn't knock him down. Weaving to the inside, not the biggest way, but he gets a couple of turns in. He probably feels that is not the 383 he needed. Sometimes those scores are so difficult to manufacture. That is true, Dave. It is really true. Line up. Can he get to his feet? And he's up and riding. This one will count. Our surfer in yellow on his sixth wave. Now he's going to ride this thing all the way in and try to stay at valves if he can. And unfortunately, he goes down.